Endless Torch is a nonprofit social enterprise. We provide culinary training and job placement services to refugees and survivors of human trafficking. And we also operate a restaurant where our students can learn on-the-job skills before beginning their culinary careers. So they'll always be up top. For so many of our students, they're beginning new lives here. They want to be part of the community, and that first step is to begin new careers. So you'll give it a quick toss? When students come here to interview, we're really looking for one thing, and that's a passion for food. All of your mise en place is here in front of you. Our students go through a two-month training program. They're learning how to hold knives, how to chop things, how everything works in a kitchen. After that first month, they're actually working the line in our restaurant. My name is Mazen. I'm from Syria. And I've been in Mestosh like for 12 days now. And I'm learning a lot. Well, my name is Dima. I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg. Emma Storch can be just uh, some kind of trigger, you know, for start to go to the culinary school, for example. I'm already thinking about that. My name is Maheda Reasan. I'm from Venezuela. I learning a lot working in Emma Storch. Put them right in the line. Excellent work. So one of the most amazing things that's happened is that Rachel Ray has become involved and she is offering furniture from her home line and her design partner Michael's expertise in making this space really beautiful. Paint everything. I use two colors, a really nice Rachel style grayish paint as she calls it, and then I also did just a decorator white. I painted brick, I paint wood, I paint concrete, I paint everything that doesn't move. So a quick tip when you're doing some shelves, you want the color to be staggered across the piece. So you want to zigzag the colors and finishes around, and then you want to mix glassware. It doesn't have to be exactly back and forth, kind of mix it up a little bit. So don't be afraid of scale. Look at the huge light fixtures I put in this space. Why I did that? You need high impact. When you have a small, nondescript space, big, beautiful light fixtures really set it off. So the most important thing is the space is beautiful and it's bright and it's useful and it's gonna serve Emma's Torch for years into the future. Hi, welcome to Emma's Torch. The fact that someone like Rachel Ray, who is so gregarious and so warm, is helping us sends a clear message that our students are welcome here, we're welcome here, and that what we're doing has merit and is part of pursuing the American dream. about your story and how this has changed your life, literally the course of your life. So I used to work in public policy and I loved that career, but I always had this crazy idea that there's gotta be something that we can do with cooking to change, change the world. And so I count myself lucky every day that I get to wake up in the morning and see the way that food can transcend borders. Uh, are you any good in the kitchen yourself? I, I got trained by my mother and my grandmother um, and then my I went girl. to culinary yeah. school, so very lucky. <laughs> Great work. Thank you. So check out Emma's Torch when you guys come to the city. You'll probably see the two of us there. What an amazing project. I'm so proud of you. Thank, Thank you, Michael, for all your great work. It looks beautiful.